Welcome or welcome back. Jesse here from YouTube channel Essential Life. Today I'll be sharing with you how to find the GCMS reports for the essential oil bottle that you bought at Plant Therapy. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to planttherapy.com. Once you're there, you're going to look up the product page of the product you bought. But I have some things you'll want to consider to find the right GCMS report. First off, you want to make sure it's the same common name. So this is like grapefruit, lavender, peppermint, just the common name of the plants. Second, you really want to make sure it's the same Latin name or the Latin binomial. So this can be found right underneath the common name on the bottle. So on here you see Juniperus communis and for example on orange it's Citrus sinensis. So this you want to make sure it matches because sometimes there are essential oils that have the same common name. For example, lavender, eucalyptus, but they have a different Latin binomial depending on which oil it is. Good example is eucalyptus. Is it eucalyptus globulus? Is it eucalyptus radiata? Is it another eucalyptus? So you want to make sure it's the same common name and Latin name. So another thing that is easy to miss that might make it frustrating in finding the right GCMS report is, is the essential oil organic or not? Because with plant therapy, you have organic or non-organic options a lot of the times. And you can find this just looking at the bottle. So this says organic juniper berry. My grapefruit is not organic. My lemon is. So you can find that on the bottle. And lastly, what I'd like to mention is also the chemo type. So not all essential oils have chemo types, but some do. So you'll find this in essential oils like basil, thyme, rosemary. So for example, for my thyme, I have chemo type linalool and linalool is found right underneath and also on the cap that they already give you. But if you don't know if plant therapy has multiple chemotypes for the oil you have, you can just search up the essential oil common name like thyme and then you'll see the options. There's a lot of different types of chemotypes. So that's the easy way to solve it if it is overwhelming and you don't know if there is a chemotype. So just to recap, you wanna make sure that it's the same common name, same Latin name, which is found under the common name. Is it organic or not? And if there is a chemotype, what chemotype is it? So let's get started. I'll show you what it looks like on my cell phone. So let's say I'm looking up my time linalool chemotype. I'm going to go on planttherapy.com. I'm going to search in time. And note, it's not organic. So I'm looking for the non-organic if there are organic options. And it is time is vulgaris. And the linalool chemotype. And I'm going to make sure I'm clicking on the linalool chemotype. And you also may have noticed that I just searched the common name. So you don't have to make it complicated. I just searched the common name and then all the options come up. Then you're going to scroll down to test reports. This may look a little different on your computer, but there is a test reports tab on your desktop. Then there'll be a list of the different GCMS reports and they're listed by lot number. So to know which one you actually bought or the one that's in your hand, you will look at this number just on the bottle at the bottom. And although it's difficult to see on the camera, I can see it in real life. So then I will match it to the GSMS report that I actually see listed. And voila, you can click and open it and access that GCMS report for the bottle that you have. So looking at the GCMS report is not something everyone does. Some people really want to see it, some people don't. Personally, I don't always look at the GCMS report. If it's a company I know and trust like Plant Therapy, it's not something I'll do all the time, but sometimes I will look at it just to see the chemical makeup and have a better idea of the chemistry of the bottle that I have. So I'm hoping that was helpful and help you find the GCMS reports for any essential oil you have. Don't forget to look up the common name, Latin name. Is it organic? Is it not? And if there are chemotypes to pay attention to click the right chemotypes. If not, you're not going to find the lot number you're looking for. You're going to look through the list and think, where is it? It's not there, but it might be actually that you clicked the wrong essential oil. So if you're interested in seeing more of my videos, feel free to click on these videos here. If you want to see more of these videos and you're not already subscribed, click the subscribe button. Then you can click the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. So anyways, I hope you have a lovely day. Stay well. Bye.